Okay, uh, so I prepared a, a short presentation, but I probably cannot share screen because I am not, not uh, a co-host, but I put into the uh, the chat. Uh, so, I mean- I think so uh, we can make a co-host. Okay. You can get a power. <laughs> Okay, thanks. Now. thanks. <laughs> okay, but anyway, uh, if someone wants to see the presentation on the computer, uh, they could use, um, uh, yeah, so that they could uh, download the presentation and, uh, and, 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 and see it. I try to share a screen uh, like an application. Um, you are co okay, uh, you should be able to share. Yes, but I. Uh, okay, uh, who can share? I, uh, uh, okay, but uh, okay. Um, yeah, do you see the yeah? You see yeah. the presentation now. Yes. yes. Okay, so uh, so this is uh, my idea for this like um, conversation is is uh, to introduce really fast what is what agile methodology is. Uh, what 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 what. Uh, for what it was uh, designed, it was uh, for what is using uh, uh, who who is using it, and uh, thus uh, uh, using it in academia could could help us, or or it could uh, I don't know uh, add some additional obstacles. And but it, it's uh, the second part is more more as uh, designed for for a discussion. So okay, uh, and to see if, okay. I will... Yeah. So, um, so what is agile? Agile is um, um, when now it has went um, uh, around twenty years. This is, is a kind of methodology for uh, for what, um, designing software. Uh, it, it's 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 actually it's a set of rules uh, or set set of um, some principles that that should be. Uh, um, adapted to to everyone like um work so and, and uh, some like most uh, important for them uh, is is that uh, uh, that uh, like the team that, that develops software should um, preclude uh, like individual individuals and interaction over tools uh, and working software over uh, like the documenting it over planning it uh, like the customer collaboration because it's also like really business and really uh, against it for, for delivering some values for, for, uh, for the client, for, for someone uh, for who the team uh, does work. And the fourth, uh, fourth rule is, is, is to respond to change. Uh, it's, it's, to, it's rather to adapt really fast than the following the plan. So um, what is uh, here important then that the Agile was um, developed uh, as uh, something that is um, Response to to previously existed uh, methodologies in software development. For example, before Agile, there was uh, and still exists waterfall approach that you need to plan everything in advance. You, you need to stay like put every exact date for which which part of this uh, software you will be uh, working on, and and so on and so on. So. Uh, uh, so uh, yeah, so so this is like this change and many many teams, many um, especially in uh, in software development follows that. Um, yeah, and uh, one of this uh, like this agile is it could be uh, like more uh, fully defined. Like there's different uh, way of implementing that. One of the, this is 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 called Scrum. And uh, it, it's a way of organizing work of a team. So, so the team work in short iteration, uh, those inter iterations are called sprints. Uh, the team also plan, plan the task in advance. So, so they, they like uh, have agenda for, for, for uh, ne next sprint that they plan the task and, and they try to uh, stick to those tasks during those, the sprint. Sprint is usually like, uh, could be a week, two weeks, or month, but it, it should be like quite short uh, period of time. Uh, also, uh, team um, uh, exchange uh, like meet daily, daily meet or exchange information uh, about which uh, team members is uh, um, have about the problems, about the progress, about the obstacles, which uh, kind of to have this. Uh, Mm, this feedback loop between team members and also uh, 
after like the sprint after after this this period uh, is uh, uh, really often like is this part of, of, of this um, this is really important for that that there's this time for review and re retrospective what could be uh, improved what 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 doesn't work what what we should change so uh, so this is uh, scrum uh, another uh, like methodology for for, for working uh, like uh, it's it's have um, slightly more um, extended history, but it's called Kanban, and it's uh, uh, it's about like limiting your work in progress, um, have visual representation of your work, and uh, and the way uh, you um, uh, you think about task, you you the, every uh, team member um, pull a new task only once and the, the previous task is complete. So, so it's not, not like the planning, it, uh, this is like slightly different than the, the previous one's uh, Scrum approach, but, uh, but, this, um, but the, this is like more, uh, more continuous work. So the previous uh, Scrum was uh, iteration and after iteration, we, uh, uh, we kind of uh, review what, we, uh, what, what works, what uh, doesn't work. And in Kanban approach, we, uh, we more, uh, uh, have a visual representation of our work. We have like every, uh, also also transparency um, who is working on what on, on what, and uh, also there is like really important that to limit uh, the work in progress. So, so, so each, uh, one person shouldn't work on on any task. Actually, uh, once uh, it should be either like to one or or two tasks li limited. Uh, uh, the wor uh, work on one person should be limited to one to task uh, at once so and then uh, about the being the the agile academic so uh, how how this could be uh, implemented uh, what 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 uh, what productive what what uh, uh, which uh, which things that that are kind of um, present in those approaches could be uh, uh, like Benef uh, beneficial for, for academics, for people who work in academia. So uh, I think uh, like this, one of this, uh, um, which things that could be, uh, that, that, that we could implement, like for example, uh, maybe work in this, um, this great integration. So having like uh, uh, some uh, plan, not, not a part like planning for PhD, maybe uh, like, uh, Having shorter um, um, divide work to, for for, for uh, as a sprint as as a um, like much much shorter um, like uh, two weeks or one month uh, period that, uh, mm, that 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 after after uh, after the end of the sprint that, that should be some uh, something called like minimal viable pro pro uh, product so. Uh, I put this in the abstract that it could be a draft of the paper, but uh, I mean uh, by this uh, I mean that after uh, the end of such sprint, uh, the, uh, the person, the, the team, or like the, the, the academic should uh, should um, um, have something that uh, does work, or maybe add another feature to the pipeline, or I don't know. Or uh, do a part of a res um, of um, a review, or uh, or a wrote uh, up, uh, or have uh, another chapter in, in the thesis, or uh, or a sub chapter. It, it. But uh, what what is uh, important to, to um, like chunk uh, and like divide uh, the work for smaller uh, to smaller parts. Also, uh, like visualize uh, the workflow. Uh, what is, uh, I think, uh, what, what academics could, could learn uh, from, from this uh, is to, to have like this, this really short feedback loop because uh, really often uh, the, the time between uh, doing something and, and having like any feedback on that, could, it, it could take uh, really long. So we, uh, there's uh, an, a Mian, uh, and during that that time, like the circumstances uh, could uh, uh, could change. So, for example, we're doing something, we're doing some analysis, and we were waiting for feedback. And then, um, then uh, uh, like 
after getting that feedback, it, it's um, uh, we learned that that uh, this analysis was unnecessary or something. So it, it's more about like having really uh, in, uh, having this uh, short feedback loop uh, uh, loop with um, your supervisor, but also like uh, ask, asking for feedback for your colleagues, for your peers, uh, for for like. Also doing open science, uh, like uh, being open what, what you do and 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 learning from from the uh, from the feedback you um, you are getting. Uh, test driven uh, design, uh, we um, discussed it uh, yesterday. So so to uh, at the um, in the moment we we wrote some program. We we uh, we are writing some pipeline. We should also think about uh, how we will test it. So we we should. Uh, uh having uh also it, it also help uh to uh to better um formulate um our our task uh, what 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 we want to uh, um achieve at, at the end of an analysis so if we uh um, think uh like how to test it how 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 to uh how to find an error in the code in the um um uh that we are kind of uh writing and then we at, at the stage of, of of writing it we will be um, thinking working on, on it um so i think uh, it, it could uh, uh help with the quality i could uh, we could discuss it about it uh about this test even development uh later yeah uh, another uh uh, I think it could be like uh, like be adaptive, uh, adaptive, not predictive. So so it's more about uh, ad adapting to 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 what uh, uh, what is changing, what uh, what um, um, how. For example, we don't know the result uh, in our studies. Yes, and and sometimes. Uh, um, uh how uh, then we don't know which next studies we we plan to do so it's it's it, it, it has no sense to plan uh like four uh four years for studies like uh, in advance but it's more about one studies and and this the, the first studies it will influence uh um, how we design the the, the our next studies yes and also uh teamwork and i think it's uh this is something that is uh, not um, it's uh, not enough in academia, I think, because either on PhD level, like PhD student level, and uh, on master student level, um, especially on, on the master student level, it's even discouraged to to kind of um, uh, to learn, like to work in, in uh, sometimes uh, to to uh, like to collaborate so it's like i mean master students should should do it uh, alone so it's not not that it happened because uh, some neglect but it's really um uh, built into into uh, some um some 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 ways of thinking about doing science yes so so sci uh, scientists is a kind of lone uh, um uh, alone yes so he's doing uh, he collaborate, but most of the times, like he, he could share his results. He could um, uh, uh, he could do do it uh, like um, do some project with others, but most of the time he, he works alone. Uh, so um, yeah, and uh, I, the last slide is uh, about uh, what what could be obstacles to implement uh, those uh, principles, those uh, those rules. So, like I said, this, uh, that this how the system works is uh, is this academic work is like uh, not for team. I mean, there's, there's a big difference between how teams, how software development teams uh, function in in the um, in companies and even like the best labs uh, uh, in in this um, in the academic. So this is like slightly different environment and even if you uh want to implement this, those rules uh sometimes if you are like uh early career researcher it's, it's, it's hard for you so it's you don't have uh 
maybe others don't don't want to um, uh, don't don't find value in what you want to do. So so if if the other people you interact with don't uh, adapt it, uh, yeah, it's really, it's really hard to um, to use those principles uh, alone. Yes. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, feedback in academia often happens too late. So, so this is um, um, something we could also discuss. Uh, also, uh, this next two points uh, that that I don't know is always like this agile, like uh, this approach that we should do more. We should do something really fast is good approach for academia because uh, th sometimes this is a, a problem. Uh, uh, like because we produce too much, too, too many papers, too many, too many work, and it's it's uh, really hard to to follow. And it's also this in incentives is not to produce like a good science, good uh, uh, good theory, but to produce like uh, like uh, many papers. So it's it's like it's uh, th this agile approach could help with, with uh, producing many papers. But the problem uh, that I mean, we, we using that we can uh, we actually uh, like uh, hack the system, but doesn't improve the system. Yes, yeah? so so maybe this the slow science uh, um, values. I uh, there's something that that when maybe we should think about um, when uh, when when we kind of we shouldn't. Uh, uh, really uh, blindly use that approach because it's it's, it's more for uh, that is used for for companies that that uh, use that for for getting products for getting money, and maybe the academia is not for that. So also uh, that uh, la last point that every research project, every discipline is is different, and it's um, it's it's not easy to kind of adapt these rules. So so it's it's. Uh, um, yeah, so 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 it's it's maybe we could learn something from 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 that uh, principles, but I would say that that uh, we cannot uh, like use them blindly. And but uh, but but still, there's some uh, good things like teamwork, like feedback, like uh, like maybe uh, thinking also in the in the short term what what we are doing, like and and kind of uh, this this part of of reviewing of um, uh, looking for. Things that could be improved for uh, for feedback. So, so this is more more or less the introduction. What I uh, would like to, to uh, and in, in in this moment the discussion should start. But I don't know how much uh, how much time we have for that. So maybe it's a few. Uh, someone want to add something or uh, have an opinion for about that or, or have some. Um... I think we should probably just start by saying well, thanks, uh, Daniel. <laughs> really interesting. Thanks a lot. Uh, and I guess we're over time now, so if anyone wants to or needs to leave, please feel free to do so. Um, and then uh, they can probably contact you on Discord in future. And if anyone else wants to continue the discussion, you can stick around, I guess, for a few minutes. Yeah. Maybe you can stop sharing your yeah, yeah. slides yes, because yes, now we yes, go yes, to yes, 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 yes. <laughs> And Emmy uh, raised his hand, so we already have. Yeah. yeah, I I have a couple of like, I'm not sure that, yeah, I'm going to go for the usual. It's not really a question, more a comment. <laughs> um, it's actually about the fact that I think certain aspects of academia, we already do the agile thing. And for certain things, we already have a very short feedback loop. And the two things, but it comes with its own problem, which is very different to the ones you were mentioning. Uh, the first part, I think, is piloting. When you pilot your experiment, when you experiment this and you pilot your experiment, you tend to have a very short feedback loop. But the feedback you're getting is not from your users, like in uh, like in agile development. It's more from reality, where it's like, okay, that thing does not even work, so we need to sort of change the design, change the MRI sequence, yada, 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 whatever, right? So that's one aspect where I think um, uh, academics, or some certain part of academics are really just understand what you know the agile thing where you have like you have short 
um, sort of like feedback uh, know about. The, um, the other one is once you've got your data and um, no matter how much you say that you had a very clear hypothesis, you always do a bit of exploration of your data and see what works, what doesn't work, what analysis, what model fits and not, right? So even in terms of model, if you just do pure modeling, you tend to choose it like, okay, you know that, I'm gonna change my model, see how if I can explain this, that doesn't work. So I, I change my models again, see whether I explain this better and so on and so forth. So you do have a feedback loop, whether you're able to fit your model or to explain your data. Uh, and one of the extreme version of this is just when things turn into p-hacking, right? When you just, uh, you've got this very short feedback loop between your data and you want to just get something out of it. Uh, and, and in this case, once again, it's not users who give you the feedback, but the data you have and you're trying to desperately find, you know, uh, a significant value in this. So I think, um, I think there are some aspects that I can know where we are, we already do some sort of agile development if you way, if you want in a way, but the problem is that we have, uh, there's no transparency on the, on the, on the whole process, right? So we are not keeping track We typically the problem of key hacking is not that you you explore and all of that, you try all these combinations that you only report one of them, right? If you reported all of them and you say, hey, we've tried this whole bunch of thing, but, and this one just gave us significant uh, uh, results, but this other like 91 that we tried didn't, that, that'd be fine. And, as, and the same with piloting, right? I suspect that uh, if we were better at also reporting the kind of piloting we did and that would help others not redo the same experiment or like, set of parameters we use for our pilot data, right? So I think that the, the aspect here we're mentioning of agile from that could be interesting for academia we don't do, and the parts of academia where we say, we, yeah, where we sort of do some sort of agile development, we do it in such a way that it sucks. So I'm just like, yes, great. I think uh, on both fronts, I think we should be better. So that was not a comment. That was not a question, more a comment. Yeah. Sorry. So, so this is this is discussion. So, Sophie, you wanted to add something. Um, I don't know what. I, I think one of the I was thinking related to the p hacking, like the thing why is uh, where you say it's like um, not open is also because it's like in academia the teamwork is like less emphasized. Like the more people you are, or with the bigger group you are, the more you are like actually forced to really. Um, openly explicitly write out what you have done and communicate it with team members like in short intervals as well mm. and if you are forced to be more independent with less team communication mm, that's i think one one part that it's like less tra leads to less transparency um so that part of not everywhere, but like I think in, in lots of like PhD students or other labs, the the ones that are actually part of a really big team or a really big project are actually in the minority. Yeah. Or that's uh, what so I think. Uh, I want to add something about who is the, the user uh, the client in this for, for researchers. So I think it's it's the committee of, of uh, like uh, other researchers and, and the, the society actually. Yes. So, so uh, if we think like that, like I think, mm, like the preprint is really agile revolution in science. Like uh, uh, it was like uh, present in mathematics, physics, like uh, really like seventies. Uh, it is it, it, even early, but but it really shortened the feedback loop. And and I mean, you could cite like the, the uh, you could see the paper like. Uh, two years before it was published. I mean, you could use the methods and, and also the researcher got the feedback about the, the methods. So it's, it's really shortened, shortened that loop. And, and I think it's, it's, it's one, one, uh, one really agile things in academia, yes. And, and also, um, mm. yeah, I mean, but we need like maybe more things like that. I don't know. Yeah, I think, um... I think it's lot, not perhaps not the only thing, but the large component is is the culture and the incentives, all of the words that we always say when we talk about these things. Um, so that needs to change, and I, I guess it's it will come with a generational change because uh, that seems to be the fastest moving thing 
in science. Um, but I do know that so previous, uh, I worked at the software startup before I did my PhD. And so, and we also applied the agile development. And so I went into this process of trying to figure out like why uh, in the first sort of two years of my PhD, and I'm like, why aren't we doing these things? Everything that you're talking about, uh, Daniel, well, not everything, but a lot of these things. And a lot of it is just because I was working on my own. And that's the first step why I became more involved in communities, because then I can work together with people. Like if, if you are two or three people trying to solve the same problem, then you necessarily have some, there's some kind of magnetism to at least share ideas when you get to a conference or something. But if you work together, then it's more and it's quicker, that feedback loop. And you can every day say, that I, I worked on this feature and that person worked work on that one and try to bring it together again. But if you're a single person working on a single topic, which like Sophie said, is like probably the majority, it, it gets really difficult to apply those things. And it, it's very frustrating. And you have to kind of search outside of your normal scope and uh, it's not for everyone necessarily, or you don't have the time to search outside of your normal scope. And it will only happen once we have more, we have kind of this kind of cultural or generational shift, at least in my opinion. I mean, it's happening in isolated pockets all across the world and you have these communities like Payanak, which makes it nicer. Um, but broadly speaking, people, I think people need some time to get adjusted to that. And for the projects to, evolve such that they are more um, amenable to those things kind of creeping in in any case. Because if it's a big project, you have a group of data engineers and software engineers and they, they work together and have meetings and have stand-ups to, to solve a, a specific part of the project. Um, but I do, like the, I, I do like the fact that we're talking about this because if, if there's someone that's part of the discussion, they're like, oh my word, I never knew that these things are even the thing. That's the that's first step into getting into it. The one thing I don't like, and then I'll stop, is um, at least there's this whole thing about like the, the motto of Facebook uh, when it started up is like move fast and break things. And I think a big part of that is not useful for, for, for research. <laughs> you don't want to break things. You want to try and figure them out. Sure, you might break something and then realize, oh, but because I broke it in this way, I found out something new and it gives me new insight into the problem. But as a whole like way of thinking, I think move fast and break things is not necessarily useful for academia. You, sometimes you just need to lie down for like a week and maybe take some ma magic mushrooms or something to understand a new concept. Like you have to take, <laughs> like you just have different approaches. I'm not saying that is what I did to understand fMRI, but maybe that's it was why really you live in Eindhoven. Now, so. <laughs> no, but sometimes that's you have to just take a, 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 a laid back, chilled approach to like kind of let these things flow through your mind and not, okay, I need to, at the end of the sprint, I need to uh, build the stool and it needs to work. Um, but I think that aspect can be, still be brought in and then there's an overall as a group or as the, as the leader of the group, someone should maintain that kind of long-term thinking um, that should not be lost. And I think that is definitely sometimes lost in the technical world where we have the situations now where uh, Facebook and Google, all of them just move fast and break things. And it actually is at, at the, um, like marginalized people are being more marginalized because of uh, actions like that. Uh, and that is wrong. So, that part I don't think is something that fits anywhere and it should also not fit in academia or research, but some of these parts of these, of, of this kind of agile approach is useful if we want to improve our teamwork, yes. Uh, someone uh, else want to add something? Or I, I have some uh, practical things because I, I didn't have time, time to, um talk more about that, but how, uh, how uh, there is some like initiative to, to, to do this agile lab or to have this daily stance, uh, like there, there's some, some blogs about that and, and people trying that. But I think it's uh, really nice in that, that you have like this um, horizontal, horizontal transmission of knowledge, because usually like as a, as a PhD student, this, this is the experience I, I know. Have, most of the times you have like this, this you and your supervisor, 
maybe there are like other people you know but if you have like like you find like the, the people that do more or less this uh, the same thing like you and you could share uh, share things with them and you could uh, like learn from them but sometimes if you don't you don't have luck is it's uh, you alone and your supervisor and uh, there's like this checkups like a uh, month or uh, two months and you have results or not what 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 could be better uh, but but what is what could be nice that uh, like in this kind of stand-ups or sharing what you're doing and what you have problems that really often happens that that people around you no solution to the, to the things you struggle with yes and and, and this is actually you need to like uh, um, discover the the will anew actually many times because some people like uh, but it's it's if if you would ask those people they would like five minutes and maybe they would uh, share the um, the answer the the this specific hack uh, with you but because you don't speak about that you don't, you don't know what what the others are doing and and it's, I think it's it's really often a problem especially I mean now now uh, with the zoom uh, zoom labs and I mean, it's 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 a, another layer to that but. But yes, uh, I, I think it, it's if, if some something would be implemented to, to more uh, mm -hmm. without like uh, drastically changing like the the system and like breaking things and 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 and, and changing whole academia, it would be like a, a little less, uh, a little more. This this way of uh, doing like this uh, sharing uh, knowledge horizontal and and the, like uh, Joomla clubs and like lab meetings when someone share like uh, what what what. What they did, what they struggle, and and it also kind of uh, lessen the, um, uh, I mean, the burden because if, if you don't uh, if you don't share, and uh, if like for two months, uh, like uh, like half year, and there's expectation that you have like this this result after after that period of time. I mean, uh, even if you supervisor or. Or but but it's it's if if uh, if you don't share like regularly it's af um, when like uh, you have only the like uh, breakthrough like uh, lab uh, meeting you present your work but but it's it's uh, uh, it, it would be much easier if if you could sh share like smaller progress and and discuss with others and maybe they have some ideas that what what could you uh, what. Uh, you could do better. I, I think it's it's the, the the thing that could be implemented without uh, like uh, changing everything. So so if, if the, yeah.